We'll begin tonight in Girard, where the rain, ice and snow proved to be too much for a well-known golf dome. The Creekside Golf Dome collapsed today before the owner could remove the snow weighing it down. 27 First News reporter Dan Marcel spoke with him. He joins us live in the studio with the details. Well, good evening, Katie. The Golf Dome says that this is a busy time of year for them. The cold weather usually drives people inside, but today the cold weather was anything but helpful. After a night of rain, freezing rain, sleet and snow, owner Tony Littell said one of the managers at the Creekside Golf Dome and Sports Bar noticed a small dip in the dome. From there, we got together as a family, taking a look at it, trying to decide what we may do. They then decided to close the dome. Littell wanted to try and get a crane up close to the dome and get rid of the snow. But before anyone could do that, the amount of snow and ice became too much. That caused the weight problem that created the, uh, the dipple that eventually caused the whole dome to collapse. Thankfully, no one was inside the dome when it collapsed. The virtual golf course and banquet halls inside will remain open. The door to the dome is now boarded up as they try and move forward. We have to talk to the insurance company uh, uh, about where we're at, just what the next step will be. In Girard. Now, both Ohio Edison and Dominion Energy were at the Golf Dome today. They were both trying to make sure that the electricity and the gas were both safe for the rest of the building. Luckily, the dome did not damage any other part of the structure, and it's safe. In the studio, Dan Marcel, WKBN 27 First News.